Uh, hi YouTube. Now I'm going to do a little bit uh, differently with this video. Instead of putting the information and typing the video, I thought I would read something that I uh, found on the internet. That might be easier that way. Oh, this is the presidential tourist, in case you don't know. Now the Chalet Suzanne, once known as the Carlton Club, is an historic site in Lake Wales, Florida. It is located at 3800 Chalet Suzanne Drive. On July 24, 1990, it was added to the U.S. National Register of Historic Places. Like I said, all this information I found online, I printed it off, and I'm just reading it to you what it says. Originally visioned as a magnificent residential resort appealing to people who enjoy golf and tennis, the Carlton Club was a vision of cheese baron James L. Kraft and Carl and Bertha Hinshaw. Kraft soon bowed out of the enterprise. When Carl Hinshaw died in 1931, Bertha Hinshaw opened her home as a restaurant in to travelers, serving exotic recipes and fine china that she had gathered around the world. Among those who visited and helped to publicize the restaurant and inn was Duncan Hines. In 1943, the chalet was largely destroyed by fire. Hinshaw quickly rebuilt it using salvaged parts from the horse stables, a game room, servants quarters, and a chicken house. This unusual design consists of 14 different levels and still in use today. The Chalet has been featured in many publications, among them The New Yorker, Vogue, Life, Better Homes and Gardens, Cosmopolitan, National Geographic, Forbes, and Time Magazine. Bertha Lewis Hinshaw died in 1973 at the age of 90. The Chalet continues under the ownership and management of the Hinshaw family. On July 10, 2014, it was announced that with the retirement of the Hinshaw family, the Chalet would close on or about August 4th. The business and property are up for sale as a result. And from what I understand, a lot of important people uh, has visited at one time or another. But um, it is um, registered as a National Historic Landmark. And it's a pretty cool place and it probably was much more um, grander looking when it was a more newer property. Now it's not as nice looking. But again, it's been closed I think for like a year. But hopefully someone will uh, buy it and take over and keep it there for many years to come, many generations to come. But it's still there if you want to visit it and see it. It's in Lake Wales, Florida. All right. Um, if you have any comments or questions, put them below. And anything about the, the um, this uh, property you can find online. But if, if there's any other questions you want to ask me about what I, what I filmed and anything like that, let me know. Okay. All right. Bye, YouTube. Bye. You can drive. Turn right here. Okay. It's okay going down here. I don't think this place isn't open anymore. Mm. I meant to eat here, but um, they get a chance to. It's really closed. I think it was pretty pricey though. Yeah. Down. Oh yeah, good house is here. So. You have reached your destination. Trespassing. Not too bad. I don't know where it is. Yeah. Is that it? Yep. I don't think so. I don't look like a restaurant. Bet you. Yes. Might be that pink one. Uh, can you get down there? It's supposed to be registered historic landmark. Well. I think. Let's go. I think that's it. Has all the parking spaces. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Brother. 
A lot of famous people lay here at one time. Oh, that brick. Sure, I could look up a better picture of it. Well, we'll go around and see. I don't know. Yep, this is it. I don't know. Wait a minute. Yeah, there's the sign. Let's see if I can zoom in. National Register of Historic Places. Yep, this is the right place. I think it's that pink. It might be with the pink too. I don't see any better sign for it though. I'll go around. I'll go around again so I can film it a little better now that we know what is what. Yeah, there's another one. Another sign for it. So I gotta get out and take a picture. I think it's both buildings. Um, moving the other side of the fountain, I'm going to get out quickly. Take a quick picture. Mm -hmm. Go around. Yeah. See, there's more of it. A cute little mailbox. I'm not sure exactly what's included with it. I'm going to say those are pretty much it. This had to be pretty at one time. Look, I said a lot of famous people lay here. Yeah, I would think here, so. Here, stop on me. Oh, go ahead, go around, then I got to get out. Go ahead. Take this. Richard right there, he'll be okay for a minute. They upkeep it because the pool's still good. One of those Reserve Historic Places signs. I'll put more information about this place in the description. Like I said, there's houses and stuff over there, but I don't know if it's all included or what. Well, they keep it up because the pool's still clean and it's running, so I don't know, though. I don't want to go too far back there. I don't know. I'm not even sure we're supposed to be here now, anyways. Okay. There's a little sign there pointing with arrows and stuff. We can see what that says right over there. So I have a feeling this was this is all connected. Mm -hmm. One pool's taken care of, but they're not taking care of the fountains. Yeah, see, that's kind of all connected, so. Oh, yeah. See, dining, office, gift shop. So I think they had places to stay here, too. So yeah, this, oh. this is all connected. This was a nice place at one time. Wow. A lot of celebrities came here. I see. What does that say in the door? Blue tree. Uh, blue gate suite. Yeah, these were places for people to stay. 
Sunshine Cottage. Yeah, that one kind of reminds me of a church. Mm -hmm. Maybe that was the gift shop. I don't know. And those are probably um, cottages and stuff in the stand, maybe. I don't know. Looks like the people might be there. Maybe that's where the workers would stay. They could keep a few people here to keep it up, but this is a historical landmark. No, we don't have to go down there. But there is a street, looks like, because I see a speed limit thing. No, we don't have to go down there, that's okay. You sure? Yeah, because that might be more a private thing. I don't care. I don't know when we get to the uh, After 150 feet, you have reached the road. See, it takes us to a road. I kind of want to go back if we can. Where we were. And yeah, we could probably go there and just come right down. You have reached your destination. That's a dead end. I think Frank Sinatra came here and a lot of other people. That was one of the nice, nice place, I think. Mm-hmm. That could have been a merit thing. Could have been. Oh, I'm not really is. sure what's fully connected to it. It's a nice wedding here. Oh, they probably did. It's a real fancy place, probably 50, 60 years ago. Mm. One of them was the restaurant, and then the other is the office, and um, it was other like places. A church, a place for animals. You brought your animals. Now, well, when we get to the end by that big sign next to the road, I want to take a picture of that, so. Okay. See, there's somebody has like a little garden, so people live over that part. Yeah, they live in parts of this. 3905, that's that. The address for that place was 3800, I think. So some of this is separate. Go ahead. Still recording until we get to that thing. and I want to take a picture.
at least with it being a historical landmark, they can't just knock it down. So, somebody has to take care of it. Well, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to put more information in the video and below to let you know about this place. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm always happy to answer any questions. Alright, bye YouTube, bye.